South of Midnight is now available in advanced access with its official release coming on April the 8th. This did get verified ahead of its release on the Steam Deck, although not quite the verified experience we were hoping for. Although it is working perfectly fine out of the box and with the default settings, holding 30 plus frames per second with those defaults aren't always the greatest as it does default to medium, but even tweaking those down doesn't give an ultimately stable frame rate. Especially once we're in chapter three and beyond, the graphics do step it up a notch and the Steam Deck does hit some problems. As you can see here, with it uncapped running around, it's bouncing anywhere between 30 and 60 frames per second. Especially when we have lots of water and refraction effects, we dip under 40 even standing still. Overall though, we can cap this at 40 or 45 to get a more stable experience and bring that battery rate down as otherwise we're up into the mid 20s. With my recommended settings at the moment, sitting at 800p full screen, motion blur off, upscaling on the TAAU as we don't have any XESS or FSR on this one, setting TAAU to balanced with V-Sync off, frame rate limit in game to 60, and then the medium preset, but up anti-aliasing to high and reduce shadow quality and post process down to low, as well as foliage quality to low as well. This for the most part will get you a 40 to 60 frames per second experience, but ultimately I will say that we will need to cap this at 40 or 45 frames per second, depending on whether you're on the LCD or OLED, so that you get a much more stable experience. You'll also see that wattage come down a little bit, otherwise you are only going to max out at around two hours gameplay as it pushes over 21 watts most of the time. With that frame rate cap though, it will be much more stable, although there is one bugbear that I have, that pretty much all of the cutscenes are 30 FPS limited. This does give a bit of a jarring experience in some of the circumstances, I'm not quite sure why this happens. Jumping about there with all of the effects does make for some fun gameplay and it has a lot of abilities that it throws into the mix as well. Once we hit combat though, especially in some of the later stages with more than one enemy, we are down into the 30s on multiple occasions. Especially with lots of dodging and air jumps and attacks, it can even go as low as the low 30s, so do keep your eye out for that one. Although overall, it is still definitely playable. Not quite sure it's fully worthy of that verified tag there, but it does seem to be getting pounded out pretty loosely right now. Let's know in the comments below if you're going to be picking up South of Midnight and if you have already dived in what settings you're running. I'm sure you can get a much more stable, potentially 60 frames per second on low with balanced TAAU, though it is a very good looking game, so you do want to try and get the most out of those medium settings when you can. I'll leave you a bit more of the gameplay here without me talking so you can get a better feel for the game and performance. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. worse than the others. <laughs>